And Liz, it has been almost a week since fire wiped out several communities here. Uh, but I can tell you, these folks are resilient despite what seems to be one bad news item after another. There is help on the ground. FEMA has arrived, but they're not exactly a quick fix. At the Paradise Town Hall meeting tonight, fire victims gathered to hear about recovery procedures. Afterwards, some filled out FEMA paperwork. Jill Gressley was able to officially confirm the terrible news. Her house was among those wiped out by the campfire. But she says she's actually feeling hopeful. I had heard that they weren't going to put Paradise back together, that it was a wash. So it was good to hear that we're going back. There are some in the community now, though, not feeling so optimistic. The hundreds of fire victims and evacuees who've made the Walmart parking lot their home for nearly a week have just been told they're going to have to leave by Sunday, 1 p.m. Federal help is not going to be ready for another week to 10 days. It's going to rain. What happens if it rains on all of this stuff or the flood zone where these people are tents, their tents are camped out over here? We're going to have a major crisis on our hands for the community here of Chico if these people have to go hit the streets. Those people needed clothes and food and, and the public and volunteers brought it to them. And it sounded a little callous to my ear to say, no, don't be where you are, come to us. This is a disaster, right? And these people evacuated on a moment's notice with nothing. Um, people want to help. We need people to be active in their own recovery. We're ready to help them help themselves. And the FEMA chief there told me they would provide transportation for folks to get to some of the sanctioned shelters. But I have to tell you, talking to some of these people out here, they're not exactly keen on getting to shelters. For one, there are four norovirus outbreaks at some of those shelters being mitigated by health professionals. But uh, they, some of these folks told us they would rather take their chances out in the cold and the smoke. Reporting live on the Night Beat, I'm Joe Vasquez.